Hi, what's up guys? This is Tyro Nash. Uh, you think you know, but you have no idea. This is my uh, overseas diary. I played in Germany, to begin, uh, for three years. I played in Rouen, France for a year. I went back to Germany, played in Braunschweig, and then Israel. This past year in Israel, we had a game, we had a Euro Cup game in Gaziantep. Now, I don't know if you know, but Israel and Turkey have like a little religious and political riff going on right now. So the first leg, they came to us and we won by like 23 points at home. And so the second game was obviously at their, at their place. There was talks of not allowing us to go to the game. Like the, our team president owner, uh, the president of the country was like, we don't want you guys going to Turkey right now because of the possible possibility of an attack. Apparently, according to the Israeli CIA, there was a threat made on our team, you know, for that game. So they were like, you know what, I don't think, we're talking about, let's, we're thinking about just forfeiting the game, like, we're, we're looking into the, all those, the rules and all that. Comes to find out, if you forfeit the game, you forfeit the whole series, so we end up losing the series. So they said, well, we can't forfeit, we've got to go play. So, a couple days prior to us leaving, we have, like, Israeli CIA come in, sit us down, couldn't have our phones in a room. I'm like, why? Like, it's a big deal of having our phones. Like, we well, don't you know, it could be tapped. So, which led me to think that our phones have already been tapped. We're not even in Israel, but probably in America because CIA is telling us we can't have our phones in the room because someone can probably hear us, which means Big Brother's probably listening to us somewhere right now. And, uh, but yeah, they told us just like, we couldn't wear anything with the Israel logo or the flag or nothing Israel. We usually fly commercial, any flight, any, any game we had outside the country. This this particular game, we had to fly basically private. So the only way we could fly private if someone really important in the Israeli government came with us. So the, like sports, the, the sports director of Israel, forget her name, she came on the flight with us. And that's the only way we can get CIA to come on the flight with us. And we can get, that's the only way we get the Turkish army to like escort us from the airport to the game. Because they were basically escorting her and we were with her. We were her guests, basically. And so we're on the plane with all these people dressed up in suits with like vests and guns all in there and all, all of them. Just concealed, but they have their weapons on them. And so we whatever, we arrive to, Israel, to Turkey. We get off the plane, it's like Turkish police, Turkish army there. There's like two charter buses. Like usually we get one bus, but there's two this time. There's like five blacked out window van, supposedly bulletproof vans. They send off the first bus, and I guess they made, I guess whoever, I don't know, I guess to deter whoever was looking at us to think that was us on the bus. And then they threw out the second bus, I guess to also deter people from, meanwhile, we were in the, we were, we're in the five bulletproof van coming up behind the bus like five minutes later. Like this whole process was crazy. Like I never experienced this before again. Mind you, we usually get in the day before the game. This this time we came in the day of the game. The game was at eight, for example. We got in at four. We stayed in the airport till about six, just waiting. I guess they were setting up our route to the to the arena. And then we left for about like six. It took us about 15 minutes to get from the airport to the gym. Escorted by police. It was like a helicopter in the air, like surrounding, like I guess following our route too, to see whoever was on the ground. I don't know. Whatever, we get to the gym about 6.30 for eight o'clock game. It doesn't feel real to me. Cause like, I, you know, usually you warm up, get to the gym early, shoot around, stress. Like we get in chains. We're on the court like an hour before game time with no balls. Like the, there's like, I, I guess the army threw off the whole arena staff and personnel where there were no balls available for us to warm up for the game. The Turkish team had their balls, but we were sitting there just stretching, just trying to like, Get ready for an important top eight game to go to advance to the next round. So we're playing the game. The main objective is not to lose by 23 points. We're playing, I see, I'm like, somebody, somebody on my team scored, we're running back on defense. I see something from the crowd, get like something's thrown from the crowd across the court and slides under our bench. Now, I'm on high alert as is, so if I see that, I'm start running towards the locker room. Like, I don't, I'm not playing this. Like, I saw something from the stands, like rolling to the court. 
my coach picks it up, like hands it to the score table, like it was like I guess it was like a bottle or something. But whatever, I'm whatever, I'm out. Like, I ain't playing. I ain't playing that. And so whatever, they stopped the game for a little bit. Told them, no, don't throw anything on the court. And so at some point, maybe in the third or fourth quarter, <laughs> they go up by 23 points. So technically, the series is tied because you know it's like by aggregate. We end up not losing by 23. We end up winning by losing by only 16 points. So we end up winning by seven on aggregate. And we get we go to the locker room, change, and go straight to the airport. Like they escort us again, send the first charter bus first, second charter bus second, and we you know we come in with those bulletproof vans next. Like the craziest game day experience of my life. Like I would never forget something like that. Like never. I called my mom. My mom like she was calling me all the time. Like you okay? Like you know you know worried as ever, but. You know, I, that's one you can't prepare for. Like, expect the unexpected. Like, thanks for listening. Thanks for spending time with me. Uh, this is Tyrone Nash. Uh, you think you still know, but you may have a little bit of idea. This is Overseas Diaries.